Hi, welcome to Debbie Lash Wellness. Today we are going to have a 60-minute practice and the focus is going to be on the shoulders and compression pose between the thighs and forearms. So looking at Garudasana, Gongasana, and we'll probably pop a little headstand in there because the shoulders will be fully open. Let's, um, I'm sitting in Virasana on my knees. If you need to, you can grab a block or even a pillow or a blanket. And just take a moment and find a comfortable seat. We're going to start the class from here. And when you're ready, we're just going to close the eyes down and take a moment and just let our energy settle. An investigation from the inside. Just noticing and observing your body physically. How are your energy levels? Where is your mind at? What are you thinking about? And start to connect to the breath. Inhaling through the nose. Just inhale all the way to the top. Pausing at the top and then exhaling all the breath out. Keeping the lips closed, pausing at the bottom. Good, two more cycles of breath like this. Inhale. Pause and hold. And exhale here. And just imagine that we're leaning against a wall. So I just want you to shift your weight back so that buttocks are pressing into the heels and imagine your lower back just connecting to this imaginary wall and then just start to thicken the spine and you're going to draw and press your shoulder heads back and then just visualize being able to press the head back so the chin draws back so you're just really feeling supported against this imaginary wall and bring your right hand three fingers underneath the navel we're going to move into Breath of Fire, Kalabati, and this heats the body from the inside out, but it's also a wonderful technique for purging um, stale energy in the body and any toxins, just really mess we The technique is that we inhale to the top, pause and hold the breath, and the hands are there just so you can feel the contraction of pressing the breath on, on the exhale. And the lips are closed, and it's definitely through the back of the throat and the nose area. So we're going to do five rounds of 15. Spread the toes. Just close the eyes down. Inhale to the top. Pause and hold. Kalabati, exhale. Inhale. Kalabati, exhale. Inhale, Kalabati, exhale, inhale, two more rounds, Kalabati, exhale, just do what you can, last round, inhale, Kalabati, exhale, Inhale to the top. Open the mouth. Big sigh out. We just feel the shoulders drawing down and away from the ear. I'm going to grab your belt or your strap or even your hand towel and place it over your right shoulder. Good. Inhale. We're going to play with Gongasana. It could feel very sticky for the first pose. Rotate the palm back. Inhale, lift. And then exhale, bow the chin to the chest, walk the forearm into the back of the head, grab your strap, and just settle here. Just find your imaginary wall, sit bones drawing back, press the lower back, and now shoulder heads, inhale, take the left arm out, rotate the palm back, this opens up in the back of the shoulder, and then exhale, just walk your hand up the strap, maybe your hands can bind here. 
mine are not binding. And just notice how hard you're gripping the strap and just soften any amount. You're really trying to find that connection through the back of the head and the forearm and then start to press and work the pose from the floor up. Pressing the shins down, squeezing the thighs, and then inhale, lift the chin. Stay right here. And just visualize that right elbow pressing into the wall and then rolling that left shoulder back, any amount, ribs drawing in. Three cycles of breath. Just visualize the breath inhaling up the front spine. And then pressing the breath all the way down the back spine to the tailbone. And just notice the sensations in the shoulders, maybe even the tops of the feet. Inhale. Lips closed. Exhale. Arms wide. This feels pretty good. Cross the left arm over the right. Garu Das in the arms. Now, if your arms can't find the spine for whatever reason, give yourself some love. Shoulder to shoulder. Otherwise, inhale. Lift the elbows up. Compress the arms. Inhale. Forward fold and bow, exhale here. Bowing chin to chest, activate the tops of the feet, lifting the back ribs up. And again, just witness the breath coming into the body. And then notice and observe how it feels when the breath leaves the body. One more cycle of breath, just like this. Inhale. Exhale here. Inhale, lifting yourself all the way up. Exhale, release. Grab your strap. Place it on your left shoulder. Inhale, left arm up. Pat yourself in the middle of the back. And again, chin to chest. Forearm into the back of the head. And maybe you actually want to keep the right hand on the elbow because this is exactly where you need to be. Please grab the strap. Inhale, some of us are going to rotate that right arm back and then exhale, walk the hand up the back of the strap. Good. And then work the pose from the floor up, spread the toes, press through all 10 toenails, squish, press the shins down, inhale, lift. Good. And then just to visualize that left shoulder touching the wall, trying to roll, roll that right shoulder back. Draw the ribs in. So you're just really finding that connection to the back of the hand through the back body. Good. Two more cycles of breath. Maybe you need to soften the grip of the strap in the amount. Maybe soften the jaw and the tongue. One more cycle of breath here. Inhale. Pause and hold the breath in. And then exhale here. Good, inhale, open the arms wide, crossing right arm over the left. So Garudasana arms is the counter pose to the Gongasana arms. So now we're stretching the shoulder blades, lift and press those back ribs up. Inhale, exhale, forward fold and bow. Three cycles of back breath, bowing chin to chest, lift the back ribs, and then pressing down through the tops of the shins. Inhaling here. And exhaling here. Breathing and shedding some light and love into the back body. Inhaling, lifting all the way up. Exhale, release. Good. Just place your strap. You're going to need it again during the practice at the top of the mat. Any blocks to the side. That's it. And just come up onto the hands and knees. We're going to take cat cow. Inhale, heart lifts. Exhale, round. Just connecting movement to breath and really feel cat pose. It's in every pose, love of Vinshavasana. Exhale, round. Inhale, heart lifts. Exhale, round. Good. Float the right leg straight back, toes on the floor. That's it. And then float the left arm forward. Float the right leg up and now lift the back ribs up. Inhale, look to the left fingertips. Inhale, elbow to knee. Exhale. Inhale, lengthen, look forward. Exhale, round. Last one here. Inhale, exhale, round. Inhale, find length. Put a bend into the knee, windmill the arm back, catch the foot. Inhale, lift up. Exhale here. And then just look back to the top of the mat. 
Shift the shoulder over the wrist and press down through the grounded hand and the grounded foot. One more cycle of breath, inhale, extend, reaching arm forward, leg back, and then other side. Float the left leg straight back. That's it. Lift the back ribs up, float the left leg up, right arm forward, knit the fingers together. Inhale here, lift the back ribs, exhale round. Inhale, extend, exhale round. That's a movement to breath. This is really working the core. Last one, pause and hold. Put a bend into the back knee. We'll middle of the right arm back. Catch the foot. Maybe if you can't catch the foot, you just reach back. And so you're going to grab the foot. Inhale, lift. And now look forward. Both shoulders are rolling forward. That's it, three cycles of breath, and you're really kicking that foot into the hand to lift the leg a little higher. Inhale here, and exhale, release, extend, hand and knee down. Inhale, come high on the fingertips, lift the back ribs. Inhale, heart lifts. Exhale, round, keep the tops of the feet on the floor, lifting the knees. Inhale, heart lifts. Exhale, round, and again, more core work. Inhale here. Exhale, round, pause, and then just lift all the way up. Stand on the tops of the feet, and then turn them over. Drop the heels of the hands down. Good. Inhale, forward into plank. Pause. Three yogi press-ups, just building strength and heat. Exhale, lower halfway. Inhale, press. Exhale, halfway, good. Lift the knees, lift the thighs, and some of you are going to drop the knees down. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. This time, lowering all the way to the floor. Beautiful. Inhale, drag the heels of the hands back, point the toes, squeeze the elbows in, energetically dragging the hands back to the hips. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Good. Two more. Squeeze the elbows in. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Pause here. Lift the hands off the floor. Float the hands back and squeeze the palms in. This tendency to want to clasp the hands, but I really want you to feel like you've got a block between the hands. Spread the toes. Maybe you're going to lift the feet off the floor. Just reversing forward folding. Inhale. Should start to feel some heat in the body. Exhale. Good. And bring the hands underneath the shoulders. Press up, plank pose, tuck the toes. Maybe some of you are going to keep the knees down. Exhale, downward facing dog. Good. Inhale, come forward, plank. Drop the heels over to the right. Inhale, peel the arm up, pause. Step the feet together. Some of you are going to stay here. This feels good. Others, lift the knee. Step the foot behind. Inhale, up and over. Three cycles of breath. Just stretching the whole front and back body. Feels delicious. Inhale, lifting the chest. Top arm up. Hand down. Plank pose. Good. And then other side. Drop the heels over to the left. Stack the feet. Inhale, lift. Lift the bottom um, hip up. Float the top leg. Step it behind. Arm up and over. Three cycles of breath. Inhaling through the nose from the top palm down. That's it. One more cycle of breath here. Inhale, top arm up. Step the feet together. Lower halfway down. Shift the weight forward. Pause here. Hold for three if you need to drop the knees. For two, for one, roll over the toes. Inhale. Exhale, downward facing dog. Float the right leg straight back. Put a bend into the knee, come up high on the left fingertips, and then open the hip, circle the ankle. Take your mind's eye into the left hip and the left thigh, press it back, dropping that left heel down. Rotate the foot the other way, heel of the hand down, straighten the leg. Inhale here, exhale, knee to nose round. Good, more core work, inhale. Exhale, knee to nose round, that's it. Last one here, knee to nose to round. Pause, lower the knee to the floor, inhale. Exhale, lift, find that gripping in the fingers, inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Last one, inhale, lower. Exhale, lift and step through. If you need to drop the back knee down to step through, you can. 
Keep the back toes tucked under. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, sink into the front thigh. Now actively, you want to squeeze the hips together. Both arms up, inhale, hook the thumbs. Exhale, sink into the front thigh. Good, three cycles of breath here. Snuggle your biceps into the ears. Activate the hips. And then I like to play with lifting the toes of the front foot. So I'm heavy in the heel. Good, inhale here. Exhale here. Keep the back toe tucked under. We're going to lift the back knee up. Inhale. Lower the back knee almost to the floor. Exhale. Good, four more. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Squeeze the buttocks. Exhale, lower. That's it. Should feel like someone's reaching, you're lifting from your fingertips to the ceiling. Last one here. Lower the knee. Hinge forward. Power lunge. Now activate the back heel. Squeeze the hips in. And notice when you squeeze the hips in, the back ribs lift all the way up. And imagine you've got that block between the palms. You should feel a lot of heat. Inhale here. Exhale here. Good. One more cycle of breath. Both hands to the floor. Good. Keep the left hand down, right arm up. And again, if you need to drop the back knee down, you can on your left leg. Good. Inhale. Exhaling here. Inhale, top arm up. Exhale, hand down. Just walk your hands around to the left. Heads in. Inhale, lift all the way up. Pause. Both arms up, breathe in. Cross the right arm over the left, back into the compression in the arms. So the elbows, hinge forward halfway, look down straight in the neck. Have a look at your toes, pick the heels up, press them out. Forward fold and bow. Good. Make sure the head is heavy, back ribs are lifting, forearm squeezing. Put a generous bend in the knees, inhale. And then exhale, straight in. Inhale, bend. Exhale, straighten. Inhale, bend. Really feel this in the outer hips. Two more. Inhale, bend. Exhale, straighten. Inhale, bend. Exhale, straighten. Inhale, lift all the way up. Release the hands. Inhale. Cross the left arm over the right. Exhale. Remember, if you can't find that full bind here, you're going to go... Opposite hand to opposite shoulder. I see you. Inhale, rock forward. Forward fold and bow. Drop the chin to the chest. Spread the toes. Activate the heels. Pick them up. Inhale, lift the knees. Exhale, forward fold and bow. Good. And squeeze the elbows. The, sorry, the forearms together. Spring the ribs. And then have a look at your feet. Sitting in the heels. We're activating the toes by spreading them, pressing them down, and then lifting those sit bones all the way up. One more cycle of breath wherever you are. Inhale, lifting all the way up. And exhale, release. Put a bend into the front knee, hands to the floor. Step back into plank. Pause. Inhale here. Yogi press up. Exhale. Remember, you can drop the knees. Inhale, press. Exhale, lower. Inhale, press. Exhale, lower. Roll over the toes, up dog. Inhale. Exhale, downward facing dog. Good. Left side. Inhale. Float the left leg straight back. Come up high on the right fingertips. And this really, I find in my practice, open up the hip, that it stops me dumping into that wrist. That's it. So you actively are being mindful about what's happening there. Lift that right hip higher, straighten the leg. Inhale here, knee to nose round. I hope you've got some nice music playing and getting more organized. You can find my playlist. Pause here. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Good. Two more. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift, step it through. Good, drop the back knee, but keep the toes tucked under. Remember, we're going to lift up. Inhale, both arms up. Hook the thumbs the abnormal way. Inhale, lift. Exhale, sink. Good, now squeeze the thighs. 
Make sure I have a look at your front knee, make sure it's over the ankle, and you're lifting all the way up. That's it. Notice your balance. Inhaling here, exhaling here. Good. Make sure the toes are tucked under. Place the front toes down if you lifted them up. Now inhale, we're going to lift. Exhale, lower the knee almost to the floor. Inhale, lift. Keep the arms squeezing in. Exhale, lower. Squeeze the buttocks. Inhale, lift. Two more. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Knee almost to the floor, lower. Last one. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Pause. Power lunge. That's it. Squeeze the buttocks. Notice when you squeeze the buttocks, the back ribs simultaneously lift up. And just try and work your ribs towards that front thigh and then lift them up. Good. Two more cycles of breath. You're actively firming the palms and imagine you are holding a block. Inhale here. Exhale, both hands down. You can drop the back knee here. Right hand down, left arm up. And I've got this lovely T-shape from the bottom hand to the top hand and then arm up and over. Good. Rocking forwards and backwards. That's it. Backwards and forwards, forwards and backwards. Inhale, top arm up. Exhale, hand down. Pasarita Paratanasana to the other side. I'm just going to switch so I don't have my back to you. Feet as wide as the mat. Skandasana. Turn the right toes out on an angle. Bend into the right knee. And just stay here. Most of you are going to bring the hands to heart. But if you're falling and feel like you're going to fall back, bring the hands to the floor. You're actively trying to lift the hips, uh, the chest out of the hips. Some of you might even play with a half bind. That's it. That's it. We've had a lot of binding this last week with the arms. So if you've been practicing with me a lot this week, you should really start to notice some uh, a nice opening in the shoulders. Good. Inhale, point the left toe, top arm up. And then swap sides. Good. Bending into the left leg. Inhale, top. Maybe half bind, maybe full bind, maybe just hands to prayer or even hands on the floor. Good. Inhaling here. Point the right toe. Exhale. One more cycle of breath. We're going to turn back to the top of the mat. Good. Step back plank. Shift the weight forward, bend the elbows halfway down, pause and hold for five, four, lift the knees, three, two, one, lower all the way to the floor. Good, drag the hands back, clasp the hands onto the buttocks, forehead to the floor, release the toes. Inhale, lift the hands off the buttock, reach the hands back, float the right foot up, and then the left, three cycles of breath. Spread the toes, and this helps take the gripping out of the buttocks. Inhaling here, exhaling here. One more cycle of breath, inhale. Exhale, lower down. Tuck the toes under, inhale, press up. Exhale, downward facing dog. Good, walk the hands back towards the feet. Malasana yogi squat, feet as wide as the mat. Inhale here, hands to heart. Exhale here. Good. Some of us are going to stay here in the yogi squat. Some of us are ready for bakhasana. Good. So hands down. Feet together, knees into the armpits. Inhale, hinge forward. Press the crown of the head. Kick the heels to the buttocks. Try and bring the big toes touching. Crown of the head reaching forward. That's it. Two more cycles of breath wherever you are. And when you're ready, feet to the floor, feet as wide as the mat. Inhale, we're going to lift all the way up. Inhale, lift. Exhale, parallel the feet. Both arms up, breathe in. Hook the thumbs, inhale, lift. We're just going to tiptoe our feet all the way up to the mat. Inhale here. Exhale, drop the heels, hands to heart. Ready for a twist. Ukatasana chair, bend the knees, drop the hips, inhale, lift. Exhale here. 
Good. Just reach the sit bones back. Inhale, bring the hands to the heart. We're going to twist to the right. I'm going to turn my back to you. Good. And then just pause. Have a look down at your knees. Slide that left knee back. Lift the back ribs up. Some of you may even want to split the arms here. That's in your spinning, your chest open, dragging the heart through the gateway of the shoulders. And exhale, hands to back into the heart in your twisting chair. Float the left leg straight back, inhale. Exhale, step it up. Inhale, float it back. This is quite challenging. Exhale, lift. Inhale, float it back. Exhale, lift. Two more. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Last one here. Inhale, step it back. Some of you are keeping the hands in prayer. Some of you are splitting the arms. Some of you might even drop that bottom knee down because that feels better in your body. Good. Some of you might even take a half bind. Maybe you're even ready for a full bind here. So just do what feels good. I'm just going to take a half bind. Good. Inhale, top arm up. Exhale, hand down. Three-legged dog, float that right leg straight. That should be feeling nice and warm. Three-legged plank, light forward. Lower halfway, roll over the toes. Up and back, downward facing dog. Good. Three cycles of breath, inhaling through the nose. Exhaling through the nose. Inhale, high tippy toes. Bend the knees, step, walk or float. Maybe you're ready to pop up. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, forward fold and bow. Good. We're going to come into chair pose from here. Bend the knees, drop the hips. Shift the weight back until the toes lift. Good. Inhale, peel the arms up. Exhale, sink and lower. You're lifting those front ribs up. Good. One more cycle of breath. Inhale here. Hands to heart. Exhale. Spin the O around to the left. Good. And I'd like to snuggle and walk the elbow back. Have a look down at your knee. Slide that right knee back. Has this tendency to want to press forward. So you slide the shin, the knee, and the hip back on the right side. Some of us are splitting. Others not so much. And remember, there's no rule book. Just do what feels good. Sometimes it feels good. Sometimes it doesn't. Good. Bring the hands back if they were split. Float the right leg back, inhale. Exhale, lift it up, step it up. Inhale, step it back. Good. Three more, inhale. Exhale here, squeeze the outer hips, the buttocks. Inhale, exhale, step. Last one, inhale, float it back. Maybe you're going to split the arms. Maybe you're going to take a half bind. Maybe a full bind. That's it. Notice your balance. Squeeze the outer hips. Notice when I squeeze the outer hips, the back ribs lift up. Lift the back heel. Press the crown of the head back heel. Press the crown of the head forward. Exhale, hand down. Flip the left leg straight back. Inhale. Lie forward. Halfway down, three-legged plank. Downward facing dog. Three cycles of breath. Good. Just have a look at your hands. Spread the fingers. Look back to the feet. Spread those shoulder blades. Good. Inhale. Come high on the tippy toes. Bend the knees. Step walk or float all the way up. Inhale. Half lift. Exhale. Forward fold. Ukatas in a chair. Bend the knees. Drop the hips. And we're standing all the way up. Little feels good in your body, hands to heart. Surya Namaskara B, bend the knees, drop the hips. This means you're getting the hips down low. Inhale, half lift, plant the hands, step or float back onto the elbows. Vinyasa. Step the right foot forward. Warrior one, squeeze. Hook the thumbs. Three cycles of breath here. That's it. Press into the peel of the left foot. Sink into the front thigh of the right leg and then draw those ribs and activate. Inhale, lift up, look up, hands to the floor. Vinyasa. How's the breath? And back down. Inhale, lift. Exhale, change the hook of the thumb. 
Find a pinky toe in the back foot of the back leg. Draw the ribs in and squeeze those outer hips in, rolling that right hip forward. Steering the left hip back. Stand into the back foot, inhale, lift. And vinyasa. Roll over the toes, up and back. Downward facing dog, three cycles of breath. That's it. We're gonna to start to walk the hands back towards the feet. Cut a hastasana, grab the big toes with the peace fingers, inhale, lift. Exhale, forward fold and bow, just nod the head. That's it. Roll the inner thighs back, squeeze the outer hips in. Really surrendering the head down towards the floor, lifting. Really surrendering the head down towards the floor, lifting the shoulder heads and the back ribs up. Good. Back ribs up. Good. Inhale. Release the toes. Walk the feet. It's going to step forward a little bit. Then the knees drop the hips. Shift the weight. Inhale. Lift the hands up halfway. Standing on the right foot, cross the left leg over. Some of you are going to place the toes down just to stabilize that's arm over the left squeeze the thighs squeeze the forearms inhale float the elbows exhale bend the knees sink the hips out chin to chest lift the back ribs up inhale forward fold and bow exhale squeezing the forearms squeezing the thighs and find that single point of focus notice what's happening on your grounded foot shift the weight into the grounded into the heel that's it, squeezing the thighs together. Good, one more cycle of breath here. Inhale. Way up, inhale. Release the arms, float them up, and then float that left leg up. Just pause, point the toe, squeeze the outer hips. Inhale, breathe in. Step forward, toppling tree. I like to keep the back foot down and the hinge forward. Standing knee. Some of you are going to reach the hands forward for three cycles of breath. Some of you are going to bring the hands to the floor. Maybe hands to prayer. Hands reaching forward is probably the most challenging. Lift the back ribs up. Inhale here. And exhale, hands to the floor. Good. Warrior three in the back leg. Inhale, cross the right leg behind the left. Exhale. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, bend. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, bend and pause. Kick the heel to the body, chin to the chest. Lift the back ribs up, shift the weight into the heels, hands to heart. For five, four, if you need to, please do. For two, for one, hands to the floor. Inhale, float the right leg straight back. Exhale, step the right foot back, walk the left foot over and get the back heel of the right foot down. Grab your strap wherever you are, lifting all the way up. Pause, how are we feeling? Good, Kwan, are you still with me? Kirsten, I know there's a few of you practicing with me today. Over your left shoulder, good. Sorry, over your right shoulder. Inhale, float the right arm straight up. Float the right arm straight up. Pause, spin the palm back, and then pat yourself in the middle of the back. We're right where we started. Some of you might even want to walk the hand onto the top of the elbow. Square the hips, lift the pelvis. Inhale, float the left arm out, rotate the palm. Exhale, walk the hand up the back of the strap. Pause here. Good, start to lift the chin so the back of the head connects to the forearm. Activate the feet, lift the knees, lift the thighs. Inhale, lift up, look up in your mouth. Exhale, forward fold and bow. Pause, halfway, steer the body over the straight leg. Put a whisper of a bend into your front knee. Inhale, lengthen the chin towards your big toe. Forward fold, five cycles of breath here. Squeeze the buttocks together. Keep pressing and lifting 
the back of the head into the forearm on the right arm and then just lift your left shoulder head away from the floor. Have a look at the feet, spread the toes, squeeze the buttocks and then notice how those back ribs lift up. And keep shifting the chin towards the big toe and then tuck chin to chest. One more cycle of breath, inhale here. Exhale here. Good, and then release the strap. That's it. Bring the right hand down on the inside or the outside. You might want a block. A block's always a great idea if you're fortunate enough to have one. Maybe you've got a book. Good. Now steer. Steer the left hip back. Lift the shoulder head. Inhale, float the right arm, uh, left arm up. Five cycles of breath. That's it. Squeeze the buttocks together. Activate the feet. Lift the knees. Lift the thighs. And you're lengthening the crown of as you keep actively lifting those back. Two more cycles of breath wherever you are. Inhale here. And the back foot up. Grab your big toes. Inhale, lift. Exhale, forward fold. Snuggle the ribs onto the thighs. Drop the head, look all the way up. Inhale, half lift. Bend the elbows, forward fold. That's it, three cycles of breath. Just nod the a breath. Just nod the head. Really finding gravity through the crop, top of the head and releasing down. If you want to work a little harder, just lift the knees and the thighs. Roll those inner thighs back. Squeeze the buttocks. Good. One more cycle of breath. And hands on the hips. Walk the feet together. Ukatasana chair. Shift the weight into the heels. Walk the feet together. Ukatasana chair. Shift the weight into the heels. Inhale, lift. Good. Exhale here. Standing on the left foot. Cross the right leg over. Some of you are placing the toe down. Others are finding the bind. That's it. Stay across the right, I'm sorry, the left arm over the right. Inhale, float the elbows. Bend the knees, sink the hips. Shift the weight into the heel of the grounded foot. Inhale, lift up. Forward fold and bow. You can rest the elbows on the knees or go beyond. Chin to chest. Lift the back ribs. Squeeze the outer hips and your buttocks together. Three cycles of breath wherever you are. Feel the compression. So these compression poses, the compression between the forearms and when you squeeze the legs, you feel the outer hips firm in. And when you squeeze the forearms, you feel the shoulder blades spread. It's called a complementary action. Good. Inhale. You're going to float those arms away from the thighs. Inhale, lift. Lift the knees. Some of you are going to keep that leg bent. Inhale. Exhale here. Good. Toppling tree. Just going to step back a bit. Step forward. Hands to heart. Hinge forward. Float the back leg up. I like to put a really good bend into my um, right knee. This is live, so let's just get rid of that. Good. Stay where you are. Heart, hands reach forward. Warrior three, pressing through the heel of the back foot. Good. Lift the back ribs up. Squeeze the biceps towards the ears. Maybe hands to heart. Some of you got the hands on the floor. That's it. Wherever you are. Press through the back heel. Inhale. And the right. Exhale, bend. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, bend. How are we doing? Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, bend. This is our last round of standing poses. And now cross the leg behind. Round of standing poses. And now cross the leg behind. Kick the heel to the buttock. Chin to chest. Shift the weight into the heel. Seal it in. Five. Press the heels of the hands together. Four. Keep lifting the back ribs. Three. Squeezing the outer hips and pressing down. Two. Inhale. Float the back leg up. And then step your left foot back. Pressing down. Two. Inhale. Float the back leg up. And then step your left foot back. Right foot up. And make sure both Feet are anchored, that right, our left back heel is down. Good. Grab your strap. Hands on the hips. 
pressing through the feet, inhale, rise all the way up, pause, take a strap, place it over the left shoulder, inhale, throw the right uh, the left arm up, good, and just draw that right hip back, pat yourself in the middle of the back, that's it, grab the strap, inhale, float the left arm out, exhale, walk the hand up the strap. That's it, and just play with it. Chin to chest, make sure that forearm is connecting to the back of the head. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, forward fold. Just come halfway, steer the body so it's over the right leg. Inhale here, and lifting the back of the head into the forearm. Exhale, forward fold. Spread the toes. I like to re-bend the front knee a little. And then lift and squeeze. Squeeze that right hip in, that forward, and then just keep surrendering down. Gravity is your best friend in this pose. Keep the feet, lifting the knees, the pose. Keep pressing through the feet, lifting the knees and the thigh towards the hips. And steering the body over the straight leg as you squeeze that right hip in. Two more cycles of breath. Maybe lengthen the chin towards the big toe and then touch into chest. Inhale and then exhale, release. Got a lot of heat in my body right now. I'm sure you're the same. Left hand on the inside or the outside, twisting triangle. Steer the left hip back. I like to put my right thumb into the hip, spin the ribs to the right, lift and squeeze the buttocks, back ribs lift. Five cycles of breath. Maybe you're going to come up into the fingertips so you can really start to lift that left shoulder, look up. That's it. Three more cycles of breath. Keep firming the right hip in, rolling the left hip forward, slight bend into the right knee. Inhale here and exhale to the buttocks. Navasana. Inhale, float the legs up. Pause. Some of you are just going to keep the legs bent. Hands onto the backs of the thighs for that bit more support. I'm going to float the legs. Inhale, lower halfway. Exhale, lift. Whoops. <laughs> Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. I don't know about you, but I'm super hot. Two more. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Good, place the feet on the floor, lower all the way down, inhale, lower, and now hands between the thighs, lift, inhale, lower, exhale, lift, inhale, lower, exhale, lift, nice and slow, exhale, lift, inhale, lower, going to lift up, stay up, for five, four, three, two, one, inhale, lower. Let's rock forwards and backwards. That's it. We're going to flow through. You can just roll forward. Some of you will cross the legs, jump back, vinyasa, meet me in downward facing dog. So there's an option here. Option, child's pose, fantastic option. Option two, downward facing dog, right where you are. Option three, Forearm plank. So I'm just going to walk the feet back. Ten cycles of breath wherever you are. That's it. And if you're in forearm plank, we're going to work the oblique. Drop both heels over to the right. Inhale, lower the hip. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. I've got a headstand coming up. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Good. Lift the heels. Drop the heels over to the left. Inhale, lower, exhale, lift, inhale, lower, exhale, lift, two more, inhale, lower, exhale, lift, inhale, lower, exhale, lift, good. Everyone meet in forearm plank, dolphin pose. Good, we're going to tiptoe the feet up towards the elbows, the face, drop the head. Step the feet together, inhale, float the left leg back. Good, look towards your left foot. Inhale, lift the left heel high. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Lower. Inhale, lift. 
exhale lower and then swap sides left right heel down left leg back inhale lift exhale lower how are we doing inhale lift exhale lower inhale lift exhale lower feet together good child's pose for three cycles of breath forehead to the floor and you can just massage the forehead side to side this feels really good so option one, stay in child's pose. Option two, another dolphin pose. And maybe you want to practice a little kick up. Option three, headstand. That's a great time to go to the wall if that's an option, if you've got a wall nearby, if you need it. Otherwise, clasp the hands together, tap the bottom finger under, lift the thumbs up, squeeze the elbows in so they're in line with your shoulders. Good. Crown of the head to the floor, back of the head in the hands and the thumb pressing up the back of the head. Lift the shoulder heads, tuck the toes. So maybe you're gonna play here. It's like dolphin pose with the head on the floor. Lift one heel to the buttock and it's imagine if you're lifting the wall. Good, and pause. I like to zip the knees together. Squeeze the thighs in and then lifting all the way up. Roll the inner thighs back. Stay here, five cycles of breath. Keep pressing down through the sides of the hands, the forearms, the elbows. Inhaling here. Exhaling here. And when you're ready, chin, knees in, come all the way down. Good, forehead to the floor. Three cycles of breath. Inhaling through the nose, exhaling through the nose. Inhaling, walking the hands back. Good, and we're just standing up onto the knees. Inhale here. Good. Camel pose. We're not doing much with back bends today, but we will squeeze these ones in. So squeeze the elbows together. Good, and tuck the toes under. That's it. Now we're pressing the hands down. So you're creating space in your lower back. And now actively press your hips and your pubis bone. Imagine you are pressing them into the wall. And that's always a really nice thing to do if you have a wall nearby. <laughs> Inhale here. And drop the right hand down. Inhale, lift the left arm up. That's it. Keep pressing the pubis bone forward. Inhale. Exhale here and roll the chin into the left armpit. And inhale, lift up, drop the back, left hand down, inhale, chin into the right armpit, pressing the hips forward. One more cycle of breath. Inhale, lift both arms up. Exhale, bring the hands back. Good, and now we've got the option. You can either release the toes down, if you know that you can drop back with the, without the toes tucked under. Some of you are gonna keep the toes tucked. Drop the right hand down, left hand down. So both arms down. Now press the hips and the pubis. And maybe drop the head. Inhale through the nose. Lion's breath. Exhale. Inhale. Lion's breath. Exhale. Inhale, lifting all the way up. Receive this pose. This pose can bring up a, a lot of stuff, a lot of emotions, the heart. Is cracked right open, so sometimes you feel a little vulnerable, a little tearful, or just bringing in a lot of buoyancy and lift. So just notice how you feel. And inhale, come up onto the hands and to the knees. Take a few rounds of cat-cow. Spread the fingers, inhale, heart lifts. Exhale, round. Just connecting movement to breath. Exhale round. Good. Inhale here. Exhale round. Good. Step the right foot between the hands and then walk the right foot over to the left hand. This next pose is called Gomgasana. So we've been building up to this. And I'm just going to turn to face you. Actually, I'm going to face you and mirror you. So right foot, walk it over and then cross the legs 
at the knees. So ideally you want to have the knees stacked. Walk the feet as wide as your mat. Again, if you've got a block or a pillow, and you know that your hips are tight and this already feels like a lot in your body because it is, it's a lot of work in the outer hips. But here's the compression right through the middle of the legs. So squeeze the legs together. Walk the feet wide. Make sure you're not sitting on your heel of your foot. Quite often that um, left foot, you might be sitting on it. So just snuggle it out. Grab your strap. If you need it, some of you might be ready for your full bind here. And it's a game. It's just a practice of observation. Strap over the left shoulder. Inhale, left arm up. Pat yourself in the middle of the back. Good. Walk the forearm. Might give it a little helping hand. And then notice how these front ribs stick out. Knit them in. Inhale, right arm up. Rotate the palm. Exhale here. And then notice, maybe you can connect. I can connect my hands. This time... Good, and then effortless ease. Again, if you're really gripping the strap, soften any amount. Forearm into the back of the head. Some of you, are there's a lot going on here. And if you're sitting on a block, just stay sitting on the block. If you're not sitting on a block and you've got that mobility in the hips, some of you might like to forward fold and bow. That's it. And then again, if this happens and the hands pull apart, just let them go, but stay in the bow. Make sure the hip bones, the seat bone, your sit bones stay pressing into the floor. Inhale here. Exhale here. Stay up. Exhale, release. Good. Crossing the left arm over the right. So this is the counter pose. This is how we started the class. Remember, we started on our knees. Inhale. So just leading up to this moment. And then maybe forward fold and bow. If you're on the block, you can rest the elbows. Whatever feels good. But just bowing, turning your attention in, close the eyes, and then squeeze the thighs, activate the feet, squeeze the forearms. And just breathe into your beautiful body, sending love and light and happiness. Just noticing how the pose feels in the body. Soften any sharp edges. Soften the jaw, the eyes, pressing through the feet, inhale, lift, exhale, release. Good. Hands to the floor, cupcake fingers. That's it. Just watch your strap. You're going to get all tangled up. Tuck the toes under. Your feet don't move. You just tuck the toes under. Lift your belly up and turn, turn, turn to your left all the way around till the legs cross. And you're going to come back down. Make sure the knees are stacked as close as they can. And then again, walk the foot out. Both sit bones on the floor. Make sure that you're not sitting on the heel of your right foot. Good. And then find the strap. Place it on the right shoulder. Inhale. Float the right arm up. Breathe in. Lift. Exhale. Bend the elbow. Snuggle the arm into the back of the head. Inhale, float it out. Exhale, rotate. That's it. Squeeze the outer hips. Activate the feet. Inhale. Exhale here. And again, grab the strap. Are you binding on the second side? Maybe, maybe not. Oh, mine's there just. That's it. And I'm going to take the struggle out of it and then just grab the strap. That's it. And then actively try and find that imaginary wall. Press that right um, elbow into the wall. Roll the left shoulder down. Squeeze the thighs. Activate the feet. Some of you are staying right here if you're sitting on a block. Some of you are inhaling. And then exhale, forward fold and bow. Squeeze the outer hips. Breathing into the back body all the way up. Exhale, release. Cross the right arm over the left. Self-love, if you can't find the arm, arm bind, inhale, lift, exhale, forward, fold. Good. Three cycles of breath here. Make sure the sit bones stay pressing into the floor. And there's that nice rounding, spreading of the shoulder blades as you squeeze and press the forearms together. Shavasana is near. And then inhale, lifting all the way up. 
exhale, release. Ah, oh, good. Shake out the legs. I'm going to finish list. That's it. Good. Release the legs and just shake the legs out. Paddle them out. That's it. Both hands underneath the right knee. Inhale, bend the knee. Some of you keep the foot right where it is. This is stage one. Stage two, you can pick the right foot up and cross it over, flex the left foot. Some of you are going to bend that left leg back. But when you're pressing it back, make sure that right sit bone can connect to the earth. And really, that's where your work is, pressing the right hip down. Right hand behind the right sit bone. Notice how the shoulder's rolling forward. Roll it back, press into the hand. Inhale, lift. And then exhale, rotate. Some of you might even be able to reach down to grab the foot. Maybe even a full bind here. Inhale, lift. Exhale, rotate. And again, watch that right shoulder. Roll it back. Squeeze the outer hips. Activate the feet. Neutralizing the spine. Inhaling here. Exhale, rotate. See if you can keep spreading the shoulder blade, uh, the collarbones. And one more cycle of breath. Inhale. Exhale. Release. Good. Release the thighs. We'll take a forward fold in between. Inhale, both arms up. Forward fold and bow. Gosh, this feels really good. Release the inner thighs down. If your hamstrings are tight, you're going to snuggle the knees, chin to chest. That's it. Pressing the crown of the head towards the feet. One more cycle of breath here. Inhale. Sigh it out. Exhale. Both hands underneath the left knee. Inhale, lift up. Good. Pause. Option one, you're going to slide your left heel back to the buttock. Option two, cross the left foot over the right thigh, flexing the right foot. Option three, swinging the right leg back. Left hand behind the left sit bone. Roll the left shoulder down and back. Inhale, lift, press through the feet. Inhale, lift. Exhale, round. Inhale, lift the shoulders. Spread across the collarbones. Inhale here, and then look back. Exhale. Good. Three cycles of breath wherever you are. Keep pressing down through the feet, squeezing the hips, lifting the belly. Inhale, lift. Exhale, rotate. One more cycle of breath. And exhale, release. We made it. Good work. Just shuffle your hips to the heels and then mindfully lower yourself all the way down. Step the feet as wide as the mat. Let the knees fall in. Just settle here. Roll the shoulders under so there's a nice little lift in the heart space. That's it. Some of you might want to keep the knees bent, knees dropping, uh, feet on the floor with the knees bent. Some of you might even want to bring your legs up the wall and finish there. Others are just going to take the legs out as wide as the mat and let the feet drop open, snuggle the shoulders, blades together, and just drop into the most important pose, Shavasana. Take a deep breath in. And a big sigh out. Receive the practice. Just feeling all the feels in the body, feeling the shift of your energy, the shift mentally in your mind, energetically in your breath. And the shift in your body. Eyes are soft, belly soft. Really give yourself permission to surrender. Let the body fully soften. 
Skin wants to feel light liquid. Bones are heavy. Deep of the breath, landing back into your beautiful body. And of the toes. Lifting the arms up and over the head. Hook the thumbs. And then reach and breathe from your fingers and draw the back ribs down, breathing all the way down to the toes. Every cell of the body, inhale. Big sigh out, exhale. Change the hook of the thumbs, flex the feet, roll the inner thighs down, breathing in through the soles of the feet up the thighs. Open mouth, exhale. Knees to chest. Give yourself a lovely big hug and a squeeze forehead to the knees. And when you're ready, roll to the side. Just pause for a moment. Pressing down through the hands, lifting yourself up, and bringing yourself all the way back up to a cross seated position. And just bring the palms facing up, bowing chin to chest. Find that imaginary wall, shoulders back, and just feel supported. A real sense of grounding, feeling connected to this yourself, grounded to the earth. Grounded and connected to your breath. Most important part of the whole practice is the breath. And then sealing it all in, hands at heart. So much gratitude for the practice. And just gratitude that we have this opportunity to come together and to open the body, release any stress, anxiety, and just to notice how we feel. Take a moment to honour yourself for showing up. That's the hardest part of the class, is finding time to get to the mat. Lifting the prayer to the third eye. Admire your efforts. You're truly amazing. Namaste.